In this video, I'm going to use an example to illustrate how conditional probability, joint probability table, and Bayes theorem work. Before we get started, I would recommend that you have some basic knowledge about conditional probability. KhanAcademy.org is a place you can find some of the really good videos discussing conditional probability. Let me show you how to find some of those videos. Let's go to KhanAcademy.org under Probability and Statistics. You will see a topic named Independent and Dependent Events. You go to the bottom of the page you will see something called Old School Probability. I highly recommend that you watch those eight videos. It did a fantastic job explaining the concept of conditional probability. Now, let's go back to our PowerPoint. Let's look at our example over here. The mobile oil has acquired some oil rights to a new potential source of natural oil. The current market value for these rights is $90,000. If there's natural oil at the site, the value is estimated to be $800,000. However, the company would have to pay $100,000 in drilling costs. The company believes that there is a 0.25 probability that the site indeed has oil reserve. Alternatively, the company can pay $30,000 to carry out a seismic survey at a site. Historically, the probability of a favorable seismic survey when oil is present is 0.6. The probability of an unfavorable seismic survey when there's no oil is 0.8. With the information here, we would like to answer the following questions. First. What's the probability of a favorable seismic survey? Second, what is the probability of an unfavorable seismic survey? Third, what is the probability of having oil if the survey is favorable? Next, what is the probability of having no oil if the survey is favorable? The fifth one, what is the probability of having oil if the survey is unfavorable? In the end, what is the probability of having no oil if the survey is unfavorable? First thing we would like to do is to define some notations. Let F be favorable survey. U is unfavorable survey. HO means having oil or hitting oil. NO means, sorry, no oil. With those notations, we can rewrite those six questions we saw earlier. In question 1, we are essentially looking for probability of F. Question 2, we need probability of U. But once we know P of F, it's easy to find probability of U. Next question, we are looking for a conditional probability. That is the probability of hitting oil if the survey is favorable. So we use our conditional probability notation. The probability we are looking for is P of HO given F. Next one is the probability of no oil giving F, which is nothing but 1 minus the probability we got in question 3. In question 5, we are looking for another conditional probability. It is probability of hitting oil if the survey is unfavorable. So that is P of HO giving U. In the end, we're looking for probability of no oil giving unfavorable survey, which is 1 minus probability of hitting oil giving unfavorable survey. Next, let's see what we already know. We know that the company believes there is a 0.25 probability that the site has oil. So we have the following. P of HO is 0.25, that is to say, P of NO, or probability of having no oil is 0.75. Next, 
based on historical information, we know that the probability of a favorable survey when there's oil is 0.6. That is to say, probability of favorable survey giving having oil is 0.6. On the other hand, probability of getting unfavorable survey giving there's oil is 0.4. Next, the probability of unfavorable survey when there's no oil is 0.8. In our language, that is, probability of you giving no oil is 0.8. Similarly, probability of F giving no oil is 1 minus 0.8, which is 0.2. Next, let's create joint probability table. Here, we are dealing with favorable or unfavorable survey and hidden oil or no oil. So this is how joint probability table looks like. In our case, it's a 2x2 two two joint probability table. In this cell, we are actually getting joint probability when both hidden oil and favorable survey happen. And over here, that is the probability of having oil. That's the probability of one single event. It is called marginal probability. Similarly, uh, over here, we are looking for the joint probability of having no oil and unfavorable survey. And at the bottom, we have the other two marginal probabilities, the other probability of getting favorable survey and the probability we are getting unfavorable survey. In the end, everything adds up to 1. Let's recall the definition of conditional probability. Probability of A giving B is equal to the joint probability of A and B divided by probability of event B. Now, let's use the information we have and try to answer those six questions. To that end, let's find the information we need in the joint probability table first. Let's see what we know already. We know P of HO is 0.25, so P of no oil is 0.75. We also know that P of F giving heavy oil is 0.6, so probability of U giving heavy oil is 0.4. Similarly, we know that probability of U giving no oil is 0.8, so probability of F giving no oil is 0.2. Next, we are going to apply the definition of conditional probability to find joint probabilities. Let's look at this one first. Here we're looking for the joint probability of HO and F. Using the definition of conditional probability, it is equal to P of F giving HO times probability of hitting oil. We know both probabilities. So it's equal to 0.6 times 0.25 which is 0.15. Once we know this joint probability, we know this one immediately, because sum of the two has to be equal to marginal probability of heating oil. So we have probability of heavy oil and unfavorable survey is equal to 0.25 minus 0.15, which is 0.1. Next, let's look at this joint probability joint probability of having no oil and unfavorable survey. Once again, we're going to apply the definition of conditional probability. It's equal to P of U giving an O times the probability of having no oil. It's equal to 0.8 times 0.75, which is 0.6. And we know this one, and we also know that the sum of this and this will be equal to the marginal probability of having no oil, which is 0.75. So the joint probability of no oil and favorable survey is equal to 0.75 minus 0.6, which is 0.15. Okay, once we know those probabilities, we know the remaining two marginal probabilities immediately. For example, probability of having unfavorable survey is equal to 0.1 
join the probability of HO and U plus 0.6, the join the probability of NO and U is equal to 0.7. And we know this one, so the other one, probability of having favorable survey is going to be equal to 1 minus 0.7, which is 0.3. Or you can do that the other way. P of F is also equal to P of HO and F plus P of NO and F. So it's the sum of 0.15 and 0.15, which is also 0.3. Next, let's find out about the conditional probabilities we're looking for. The first one is, we want to know the probability of hitting oil given we have favorable survey. No surprise, we're going to use the definition of conditional probability. It's equal to probability of hitting oil and favorable survey divided by the marginal probability of having favorable survey. It's equal to 0.15 divided by 0.3, which is 0.5. The other one, probability of having no oil giving favorable survey will be 1 minus 0.5, which is also 0.5. In the end, we are looking for the probabilities when we have unfavorable survey. The probability of having oil giving unfavorable survey is equal to the joint probability of having oil and unfavorable survey divided by the marginal probability of having unfavorable survey, which is equal to 0.1 over 0.7, which is 1 seventh. The other one, probability of having no oil giving unfavorable survey is 1 minus 1 seventh, which is 6 seventh. In the end, let's take a look how Bayes theorem works. This is how Bayes theorem works if we would like to find out about the conditional probability of hitting oil giving favorable survey. Essentially, Bayes theorem summarized what we did earlier using joint probability table. In joint probability table, we essentially break down the entire process of Bayes theorem into a few more steps. Here in Bayes theorem, we are just trying to summarize everything all together in one formula. This is how we can look at it. First of all, probability of having oil giving F is equal to probability of having oil and favorable report divided by probability of favorable survey. Next, we know that probability of F is the sum of two joint probability. The uh, probability of heavy oil and favorable survey and probability of no oil and favorable survey. Next step, we are going to use the definition of conditional probability once again. So how do we find the uh, joint probability? We did that already in joint probability table. It's equal to P of F giving HO times P of HO. And similarly, we know that probability of no oil and favorable survey is equal to P of F giving no oil times probability of having no oil. We know all those pieces of information. So all we need to do is to plug in numbers. Here's what we get. 0.6 times 0.25 divided by the sum of 0.6 times 0.25 and 0 0.2 times 0 0.75, we get 0.15 over 0.3, which is 0.5. Hopefully from this example, we see that Bayes theorem is nothing really uh, scary. Highly recommend that we use joint probability table before we are getting used to those concepts. And then we can use Bayes theorem, which help us get our result we want much, much faster. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get the joint probability done in Excel. That will make our calculation much easier and faster if you know Excel pretty well.